Today we will show you how to track and manage event attendance in TitanLink for your organization or campus department. There are various ways to track and manage event attendance in TitanLink. First start by going to your organization or department's TitanLink page, click on Manage Organization, and then click on Events on the left-hand menu. One way that you can track and manage event attendance is manually. So start off by going to the event that you want to track and click on Add Attendance. You will see three tabs here at the top. On the Invitations tab, you will see a list of users that were invited to the event or filled out the RSVP. For each user, select the appropriate level of attendance. You can also add a comment if applicable. On the Text Entry tab, you can enter attendee information in bulk using their CSUF emails. You can add up to 500 email addresses in the text box below and then indicate the attendance status for that bulk of emails. Next, under File Upload, you can upload a Word document or a spreadsheet with email addresses to upload for attendance. And again, indicating whether or not they attended, were excused, or absent. On the Manage Event page of any of your events, you will find an attendance URL. Any TitanLink user who visits this URL during the event or within 72 hours after the event ends will be marked as attended for your event. This is a URL that you can share with any of your attendees during your event so that they can self-report their attendance. The access code seen above is a unique code specifically for your event. You use this access code when utilizing the Event Check-In app to check in your event participants. You will check in your participants by scanning their event pass, which is a unique QR code that everyone at Cal State Fullerton has access to when they log in to their TitanLink account. And it can be accessed up at the top here, as you can see. Also under Event Attendance is Invitations and RSVPs. Here you will be shown a list of everyone who was invited or who independently filled out their RSVP. You will be shown their RSVP response, how many guests they indicated that they will bring if applicable, as well as a link to their full RSVP details, which includes any RSVP questions that you may have created during the event submission process. Up at the top, you can export the RSVP list, which includes all of the RSVP information just mentioned. You can contact your respondents, as well as invite people. As a part of creating or modifying any of your events, you also have the opportunity to customize how users can RSVP to your event. These features will be found on the second page of your event submission process. You can select who can RSVP, you can limit the number of RSVP spots, you can allow guests, you can allow respondents to represent an organization, and you can also add RSVP questions. Some examples of questions could be asking if any accommodations will be needed to attend the event, or if you're providing food to your attendees, you can ask what type of meal they'll need. You can select from a variety of question types to develop your questions. This is how your RSVP will appear on the event page. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at studentlife at fullerton.edu.